Hi, this is Scott the Peaceful Shaver of MyWifeAndIShaving.com along with my beautiful wife, Lynn. Hello. Um, so I want to do a sort of review of Small Flower um, slash Q Brothers slash MERS Apothecary. And they're all basically um, a family business in New York City. Uh, MERS Apothecary is um, renowned as being in business for many, many years and carrying um, uh, an extraordinary number of um, uh, products uh, for not just for wet shaving but also for personal use um, and it, it's just it's a wonderful place and they've also branched out um, with their sons Q Brothers and also Small Flower and they do a mail order business uh, and they have a great online presence so I placed my first order with Small Flower and I received four colognes in the mail and I have to tell you that um, I don't believe I've ever had as quick a turnaround um, as I have with this business. Um, I placed my order, I don't remember what day it was, and it was within two days. It was almost like Amazon. Within two days I had it. It was beautifully packaged, everything was safe and sound, and it was, they threw in samples, and so I, I couldn't be happier with their um, customer service. So we're going to do a little taste, a uh, little taste, we're going to do a little sniffy test here <laughs> with it. my beautiful wife. Um, four products that I got from MERS slash Small Flower uh, slash Q Brothers. Uh, and we're going to see how she likes them. And I'm, I'm sure she's going to like uh, some of them and some she's probably not. So um, we'll start with, with this one here. That's Brute by Fabergé. There she goes. <laughs> you know, and I've always said that there is, n of all the senses, nothing is tied to memory more than smell. Than, mm -hmm. than a scent. A scent, kind of like a, a song, can just transport you back to a place in time. Um, it really does. I mean, you hear a certain song on the radio and it reminds you of being a teenager and being, you know, you remember where you were when you heard, when you were listening to that song for the first time. And scents do the same thing. And, um, and she is correct. That was, <laughs> that was Brut by Fabergé. As Eddie Murphy would say, cheap ass cologne, but you know what? Oh my god, it's awesome. It's it is awesome. Um, and this is the um, the brute special reserve spray cologne. So it, it's not a splash, it's a cologne, a spray, and I tell you, it lasts all day. I give three sprays in the morning, lasts all day long. And Lynn loves uh, masculine scents. You don't use when you use a scent, you never use a, what's a, considered to be a female scent. No. Um, you know, a women's scent. You you enjoy the masculine scents, mm -hmm. as do I. So you know, she loves Drake mm -hmm. um, You know, which reminds you of being a you know a kid. Mm -hmm. And Brute is another one. Yep. And Brute is just a timeless scent. It's a it's a terrific scent. Uh, you know, your grandfather used it, your father used it, mm -hmm. and you know what? It's timeless. It doesn't. To me, it doesn't smell dated. Like sometimes Drakat to me can smell dated. It smells like the eighties. Yeah. yeah, I love Drakat too. But Brute mm -hmm. just smells. Nice. It has that musky. Oh, it just has that beautiful <laughs> musky scent. Love it. Absolutely love it. So well, there you go. One for one. Okay. Let's see if you like this one. Yeah. yeah. I knew you weren't gonna like that one because it kind of I... smells like like a grandmother. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is Come Lucky on. Tiger <laughs> Bay Rum, which I it know smells like fruity. It smells like a pirate. You think? Yeah. Okay. It smells kind of fruity to me. A fruity pirate. <laughs> I like it. Um, it's not my favorite Bay Rum, but it is a nice one. It's an inexpensive product. I mean, you get a big, huge six to 16 ounces. This is going to last you forever of Bay Rum. Um, eight bucks, and I believe I even paid less than that. Oh. Um, so, Lucky Tiger, which makes a, more than one product. They make several products. They have nice scent. They're not too long-lasting, but they do feel nice when they're going on. Um, and you know, it's, it's, a, it's a representation of, um, of a Bay Rum. It's not my favorite, but it's a, it's a pretty good one. And I know that Lynn does not enjoy Bay Rum, so I knew she would not like that one. And this is going to be a new scent. Not too bad. It mm -hmm. almost reminds me of like the um, one of your um, what do you call it? Shave sticks. Oh, okay. Like um, not Arco. No, maybe maybe no. like the palm olive one. Maybe palm olive. You think? It certainly is an old timey 
scent. Um, I believe that this scent is marketed as unisex, is not just for men, but for anyone. Um, it's a really, really old scent. It's been around forever. Um, it's one of the original colognes from Germany, 4711. Comes in a nice glass bottle with a nice spray. It's, uh, how many ounces in here? Three ounces. Uh, it's pretty concentrated. This stuff will last pretty much the entire day. Uh, it's a nice scent. It's not overpowering. It is fruity. It is a bit floral. Yeah, it's more floral than fruity. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And this last one. Oh. What does that remind you of? I don't know. I'm not a big fan of it. Not a big fan. That's okay. Have you? Do, do, does it? Is it? Does it bring you back any memories at all? Do you? Do you uh, recall ever smelling this before? What did your dad use? Did Did he use brood or did he use Old Spice? Um, I think Old Spice. Old Spice. Maybe. This is of course the the classics: brood, Old Spice, and of course, Aqua Velva. The Aqua Velva they have in the States now is not the same as classic Aqua Velva. Does it have like, um, what do you call it in it? It's this stuff I don't like. But, um... Menthol? Yeah. It does smell like menthol. It absolutely, it absolutely yep. does. It's the and menthol. It's, yeah, it's and it's, it's the, I mean, great nose, it's the third ingredient. That's why I didn't um, like it. Yeah. You know how it, I definitely has, it definitely has that cooling effect when you put this stuff on. This is great for the summertime because it definitely cools your face off. As you can see, I'm, I'm shits in here. I'm sweating. I'm glistening. Yeah, you are. <laughs> um, but um, you can find the classic, if you like Aqua Velva and you know that it's not the same in the United States as it used to be, um, it was Douglas Smythe who pointed me in the right direction where you can find it. Spain still makes the original, I don't know if it's the exact original recipe, but it's pretty much the original scent uh, as it was back in the day. So this is Aqua Velva from Spain, um, which you can find on Amazon and, um, and also at Mer's Apothecary. Uh, and it's, um, it's the Williams, um, who also they make the Williams mug soap, um, the original Aqua Velva in a glass bottle, not that plastic crap that it comes in today. So let's see, you... Um, <coughs> You did not like these two. This one was okay, and the brute was your favorite. Yeah, brute's definitely my favorite. In fact, maybe I'll wear that today. You know what? <laughs> and and I decided that whichever one she decided she was going to like the best, that's the one I'm going to be rocking today. Um, so I want to thank you for watching my wife and I shaving uh, with my beautiful wife Lynn, and I'm Scott the Peaceful Shaver, and thanks for watching. Have a good day.